On September 30th, 2021, Mesmer Skates was announced via a short Instagram video which featured striking artwork and an image that showed Mark Moreno, Dominic Bruce, Levi Van Ryn, and a masked John Bellino and it instantly generated a lot of attention. It soon became known that one of the people behind the brand was street skating icon Billy O'Neill and the hype for the brand escalated. There hasn't been this much excitement around a new brand in skating since John Julio launched Them Skates back in February 2018. It has since been confirmed that the brand is a joint venture between Billy O'Neill and John Bellino and Powerslide owner Matthias Knoll, which Billy confirmed during Jan Welsh's Then and Now podcast. I reached out to Matthias and I said, Hey, what are you doing with this old, I was thinking about the old Arlo classic throne mold, like the old one, you know, like the old Dustin Ladder for the first time upside down skates. I was like, where is this? What are you guys doing with this? Like you're only working with the Aeon. Is this something I could lease from you guys? Would I be able to buy this from you? What's going on? And Matthias is like, yeah, I mean, it's broken. You could probably pay to get it fixed and have it remodeled. He's like, and that's something I'd be open to, but but what are you thinking of? What are you doing? And I was like, well, I'm trying to do this with John and I'm trying to like, uh, yeah, get something going because and the, the, the place where it came from was like literally, and, and I can, I'll get into where, actually I'll get into that in a little bit, but it was basically trying to like, what do we do with John? <laughs> like, or what can we do as us? Like, we want to be here. Like, how do we stay here? How do we create something where we can like, give something or make something or do something for the people that we want to do something for. Let's so that it came from that. And when I was talking to Matthias about what we wanted to do and why I was trying to buy the lease from him, he was like, wow, that sounds like an exciting project that I would like to be a part of. From the outset, Billy has been keen to distance himself from other companies he has been associated with in the past, particularly Shima Skate Manufacturing, AKA SSM. No disrespect to the gods, no disrespect to anyone, but people were like, yeah, it's like, it's like NIM 2.0. It's like SSM 2.0. Oh man, it's like, it's a rocker company. Sick, we need another rocker company. And I'm like, I just, and it might be hard because of who we are, but I, hopefully throughout as, as we exist and we put out stuff, we can really make the distinction of ourselves not really being a rocker company. However, comparisons between the two brands were inevitable. Three of the four members of the pro team, John Bellino, Dominic Bruce, and Mark Moreno, all skated for SSM, and so did Billy O'Neill. Plus, Billy has confirmed that he used the SSM sole plate design with permission from Brian Shima. We had a mold, we're like, are right, we gonna put Shima? We were talk I was talking to Shima on a regular basis. Shima was like, you can have the SSM mold, have it for free, it's yours. And I was like, sweet, like, cool. Like, we're, we're making progress here. Mesmer Rising, the brand's first video, was released on November 22nd, 2021, and it was a strong initial statement. There were incredible performances from pro team riders Dominic Bruce, Levi Van Ryan, Mark Moreno, and founder Billy O'Neill, but the bulk of the footage belonged to John Bellino, who showed that he is still a powerhouse and has adopted a lot of the modern trends and in blading into his arsenal to keep up with the times. The video has already had over 26,000 views and their Instagram has over 7,000 followers in less than two months. So it's safe to say Mesmer is off to an incredibly strong start. So where did the inspiration for the name come from? Billy briefly mentioned on the Joey Longer episode of Jump Street Podcast that he didn't want a company name that referenced anything to do with blading. When we were making our thing and and, and not to uh, like, you know, nothing about anyone else's stuff, but uh, I was just like, cool, if we could just make ours and not use the word uh, roll or like wheel. blade yeah. or skate <laughs> or wheel, if we could like just make any, any combination of words without roll, skate, blade or wheel, and then we're good. So yeah, um, that's that's kind of was our, I our process. I couldn't more. If you're thinking about starting a rollerblading or inline company of any sort, do not use those words in there. <laughs> it turns out there's a band called Mesmer that the founders could be familiar with. 
It's a four-piece stoner metal and doom rock band from Oakland, California. There's not a lot of information available about them online, but they do have an EP out on Bandcamp. Both Billy O'Neill and John Bellino have lived in Oakland in the past, with Billy staying at the Shredweiser house and filming his epic Haitian and SSM section there, and John Bellino filming his Haitian Lost tape section there, and both are known to be fans of that genre of music. If you go to the Mesmer Bands Instagram account, you will see that John Bellino follows the band both under his personal account and his Parmesan cheese account. So it seems more than likely that the inspiration for Mesmer Skates came from there. Nothing wrong with that. Let's just hope they don't fall victim to the same issues that happened with Strange Creatures. Amir Amadi's clothing company was forced to change its name from Strange Creatures to The Strange after a band going by the name The Strange Creatures copyrighted the name and sent them a cease and desist order. It's been well publicized who is on the Mesmer Pro team thanks to the brand's strong marketing campaign so far, but the amateur team is still relatively unknown. Billy has mentioned he wants to keep it under wraps for now, possibly because he's planning a similar video release featuring the amateur team to follow up Mesmer Rising. I cannot wait to, I want to say it right now, but I can't, but I can't wait to like show uh, everyone what we're doing. And yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. I can't wait to see who the AMs are as well. Luis Corrales has already been announced as their first AM writer and he features in Mesmer Rising. But another skater also appeared in Mesmer Rising wearing the John Bellino prototype, Carl Lindbergh. He only has a single clip, but it could be an Easter egg within the video, a hint of things to come. The Danish skater used to ride for Valo and Ground Control, but since Valo has ended, he's been floating around without a sponsor, which seems unfair because he is amazing. If you require proof, check out his incredible section from David Sizemore's Fifth Floor. He is good friends with Dominic Bruce because they both live in Copenhagen and have skated together for years. And he's also friends with Mark Moreno. They've been on numerous tours together. And he was on the Eshedi tour with Billy O'Neill, so he would be a good fit for the team. Jimmy's a fucking monster on the skates. James Coburn, aka Jimmy Coburn, is another possible contender for the amateur team. Jimmy is the brother of Taylor Coburn, one half of the Wax Toaster podcast alongside Joey Lunger, and the creator of the SF video Hit It Wet, which Jimmy has a section in. Billy may have accidentally already announced Jimmy's involvement with Mesmer during his appearance on the Them and Now podcast with Jan Welsh. Um, and a lot of the guys on Mesmer play play music. Uh, Lewis plays music. Jimmy plays music. It's also hinted at in the Joey Lunger episode of Jump Street, where Joey talks about his love for Jimmy Coburn, saying that he's one of his best friends, and then later says that he is excited about who is on the amateur team for Mesmer. Have you picked the right people to really grow a brand? So, Thank especially you. the people on your AM team have uh, a lot of potential for moving. I love the AM team. I can't wait to announce the AM team. The AM team is like more exciting almost in a way because of I that. I think so. Dennis Lopez is also rumored to be on the amateur team, which could also explain why Joey Lunger is excited about the AM team because he's good friends with Dennis. Dennis was also a guest on Jump Street podcast not too long ago, so he has a connection with Billy O'Neill. Dennis has also filmed a short part for John Bellino as well in recent years, so he has a relationship with both skaters. He also recently cleaned out his Instagram account and now only has five posts on there. This could possibly be to make a fresh start on Mesmer skates. Another contender is Italy's Gabriel Adriani. He previously skated for Razors, but has since been skating around on them skates. However, in recent weeks, he's been sharing a lot of Mesmer's content on Instagram. Then again, that could just be a coincidence. Another potential candidate is Matty Schrock. Matty Schrock used to live at the Shredweiser house, so he's very good friends with both John Bellino and Billy O'Neill. And he would be the perfect fit for Mesmer Skates because he's got a very kind of raw, aggressive approach to blading, which I know both of them like. He is not very active on social media, so it's very difficult to judge by that whether or not he will have any involvement in the brand. And, you know, there's not really been any hints about that. But if they were to choose someone closer to home, I would think that Matty Schrock would be a contender. Someone else who also appears to be wanting to get involved with Mesmer is Norway's Martin Danning. Danning has previously skated for Valo before having a less than ideal brief relationship with Roses and since he's been getting flowed product from them skates. 
However, he recently posted a few Instagram stories skating what appeared to be the Mesmer John Bellino Pro Skate with partly blacked out sole plates. When I asked him what he was skating, he claimed they were old USD thrones. In his bio on Instagram, he claims he's still skating for them, so why would he be trying out thrones? None of this has been confirmed by anyone at Mesmer, so I could be completely wrong. However, there have been some strong hints dropped in recent weeks by people closely associated with the brand. Either way, it will be exciting to see what happens next with Mesmer. Who do you think is going to be in the Mesmer Amateur team? Who would you like to see on the team? Leave your predictions in the comments below.